So we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> what are you staring wow. at me? <laughs> look at my room. No, I was looking. I was staring at the camera and like what my room looks like. Yeah, your room looks amazing. Thank you. So we're. This is a hot summer day in Australia. It is a hot summer day. Oh my gosh. Okay, where is it? <laughs> Just a sec. So Christmas is over. And they were selling these on special at Big W and they were so cute! Aww. So cute! They are cute. <laughs> and I had to buy this packet to replace this one. This is a one. It's really hot in Australia right now. These are the ones. It's hot. <laughs> these are the ugly ones, the rejects. Do you want to eat these while we're dyeing our hair? My hair? Yeah. Sweet. Do you want to eat these? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the rejects. They're going to get eaten. <laughs> they look really nice. It's just so cute. Okay, so Not anyway, cute. today we're making a video about dyeing hair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, Hot hair. Yes, so we're just redoing the roots. Because unfortunately for me, my natural hair colour is like very light blonde. Unfortunately for you, it's blonde. so easy to dye your hair. Very dark blonde, light brown. <laughs> and when it starts going back, because the red is such a different colour, it makes me look bald. And now I just look bald. Like, <laughs> freaking it out. It makes me look bald because you can't see my roots. You look good bald if that makes sense. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to be putting colour back in my hair. Okay. Um. Hey. All right. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Um, so we've got all the equipment we need. This is the emergency food. Um, yep. We're hoping we don't need to eat it. This is what we're hoping to eat instead. Actually, this is melted chocolate. It probably tastes nice. Yeah, that's like, true. Melted. Let's eat it. All right. So we're gonna be eating these, but the bad ones, the backup ones. And the fact that they taste nice. So this is like dyeing hair tutorial plus chocolate mukbang. Yeah, I'm mukbang. supposed to be dyeing my hair at some point. Chocolate! Yeah. Oh my goodness, how do I open this? Oh, it's meant to be Belgian chocolate, by the way. Yeah. So it melted in Australia. Belgian chocolate just couldn't handle the heat here. But. Can you see what it Belgian house made before? It's slightly off colour. <laughs> this is your people. <laughs> oh my god. How does it taste? It tastes good. Yeah, actually. More. <laughs> it smells nice. And it's good. I'm a little afraid. It literally looks like it literally like it's mo like it doesn't look edible. Can't really like. Just have faith in ugly looking chocolate. <laughs> it's, it looks really pretty before it got melted. Oh. I Are you sure? I like it. Do you like it? Oh. It tastes like dairy milk. <laughs> Try eating the white one. Legs. I never tried the leg. You're lucky. Yeah, how bad is that? Not bad. Okay, they're amazing chocolates. I'm really yeah. glad I bought them. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you can enjoy them. <laughs> I'm going for the body now, the gut. Well, I get to like, pick the cute looking ones. These look so cute. That's why I bought them. It, yeah, <laughs> they just look so cute. What's the name? Mm. Belgian chocolate? Belgian wow. chocolate. Hamlet? Oh. What am I reading? Yeah, it's called Hamlet. Ooh. They're insane. They're gonna kill everyone. Oh my god. They're gonna freaking kill everyone. That's true. What is it called Hamlet? Maybe ghosts came in and killed these ones so that they wouldn't kill us in our sleep. That makes so much sense. Maybe we should eat the live ones so they can't kill us. <laughs> Look at his eyes. His eyes are all right. <laughs> What's it gonna do to us? It's looking up. I don't want them to hurt me. <laughs> okay. All right. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm meant to be dyeing my hair. So, here's the inventory. This is a spoon. This is a mug. This is the hair... Stuff. 
This is the hair dye. You mix these two. And I think maybe this is like hair shine. You know what? It is a bottle that I'm going to put on my head. Yes. And this is, this is hair dye. It's meant to be very... It's meant to be red blonde. My hair is not red blonde. This did not come out red blonde before. It's oh. much darker than it's supposed to be, I think. Yeah. What brand is that? No idea. Pro color? Oh. Okay, so what happened is I put this in my hair. Ah. Forgot it was in my hair. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Have you got tissue? Uh, so basically this is covered in, in slimy stuff. Why am I putting this in my hair again? Some more. <laughs> You're inside. Okay. Um, this is petroleum jelly. Multi-use thing. You actually, you put it like all over your face. You know what? I'll do it now. Like on your forehead and stuff. So that if you get dye and it goes on your forehead, the dye doesn't leach into your skin. It just gets on the petroleum jelly, which you can then wash off in the shower. Now, I always miss some of my face. Look, my face is going shiny like I'm wearing lots of makeup. <laughs> yeah! Oh my goodness! Yeah! I should like... wear this for my wedding! Yeah! I'm not engaged yet, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> because you put petroleum <laughs> all over your face. But it looks like I'm wearing That's it too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing makeup now. Yeah, <laughs> look no. at this. I'll, I'll look at this beautiful bride. So you only need to put it on, like, where your hair joins, but it makes me look yeah. like I'm wearing makeup, so what the hell? <laughs> yeah. It's like you put a highlight all over your face. I know, look at my face! <laughs> you're glowing. You're a glowing bride. This is amazing! <laughs> um, you're supposed to have a towel that you put over your shoulders so that you don't get red everywhere. If you put petroleum jelly on it, it'll probably just get in your hair and stop your hair dying. Um, but I don't have a towel because it came to a bad end and had to be thrown out. That towel is, it just got gross. Like, mm -hmm. I had a towel, and I dropped it in my shower, and then, like, left it there a couple of days, and I was like, I'll just put it in the wash, and then it really stinks, so I was like, okay, I'll throw it. <laughs> I have two spares, but I don't want to use the spares, because they're nice towels. Okay, um, after freaking out anyone who's watching this, uh, it, it, okay, my face is glowing. I'm going to use intense, I'm going to use repair treatment on my mm -hmm. hair, after I dye it, not, probably not today, but, like, in the week following. So, yeah, because I'm pretty sure they come with products you're supposed to put in your hair to, like, help it straight after, mm -hmm. but just for the coming week. Okay. Now we can start. All right, so this is supposed to come out red blonde. So, with these, I... Oh, right. So, the mug. You put, like, a spoonful in of this and then a spoonful of this. And the reason that's the ratio isn't because it tells you to do that on the packet. It's because I don't have the packet and I don't know what the ratio is meant to be, so I always just do one line. Um, well, actually, I usually just meant do different every time and see what happens. Yeah. I don't know. So it's, like, exciting every time. You don't know what you're going to get. Yep. It, it yep. has first aid instructions on this in case something goes wrong. This, whatever this is. Um, if swallowed, do not induce vomiting. If in eyes, hold eyelids apart. Okay, fair enough. Oh, my God. Continue flushing until advised to stop by poison information center or a doctor. If skin or hair contact occurs, remove contaminated clothing and flush skin and hair with running water. If I'm meant to be putting this in my hair, why are there safety instructions in case it gets in your hair? <laughs> I'm a bit worried now. And it says poison on the side. Can you read that? Maybe. I'm supposed to be putting poison in my you hair. You live once. You won't live much longer if you put that in your hair. It, Let's try it. It's put, it puts out a warning. If skin or hair can But check, you'll die it's removed. But you'll die a redhead. That's all it that matters. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it. Skin or hair contact occurs. But I've done it before. I've just never read the instructions. I tend to be a do-it-yourself person. Okay. Have you got a towel? I do not. I'm just wearing a bad top. And sports. I think I have a towel that you found in the other room. Okay. Cool. We could. I don't care. No, don't turn it off. Don't right. turn it off. I'm trying to balance this so I can put the dye in. Can you hold this for me? Mm -hmm. And hold the spoon over the top? No, I thought it chopped like this because I need to fill it up. Ah! Ah! I don't think there's 
enough to even do one spoonful. Ah! There's... Ew. It looks so gross. Wow, that's used up. Do you want to show the camera? That's all we got out of this. I have a plan. Okay. It's covered in gross shit. This is empty. <laughs> okay, now we have a bin! Inventory! Bin! <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, so then just like tap it in. Oh, um, we've never done this before together. Usually I just try and dye my hair myself, but I want to help. Okay, so just like chuck it in the thing. You're doing very well. Is it coming off? <laughs> <laughs> is it coming off the spoon? Yes, it is. Yay! Okay. And this has a child-proof lock on it, which shouldn't be an issue because I'm not a child. Are you sure? Yeah, it's going to come up. There we go. All right, can you put the spoon back in the same position? Sweet. And then we'll fill it up with one of these. Whatever. S Caution. Keep out of reach of children. Read safety directions before use. Well, I accidentally threw them out before I read them. Do not swallow. It contains hydrogen peroxide, 30 mils. And this is 250 mils. And there's a triangle with the number 2 in on it. What does that mean? Is that recycling? Triangles are never good. I, no, I'm pretty sure. Like, triangles on the back just tell you whether the thing can be recycled or not. And that's a two, so I'm assuming it can be. Anyway, we're dyeing my hair. This, this is Brilliant Luminance. I'm using it because I knew I'd run out of this. Um, so we're just going to mix and match, because why the hell not? Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you, you need to put that in the mug as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These gloves on. Ah, finally, gloves. gloves. There's a lot that was in that packet. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Oh, sorry. The reason why I wanted to mix these is because this often comes out quite almost, almost like a pink color to my hair, and so I need to mix it with a darker red when I dye it, which I usually do. This. And no, I haven't asked if it's okay for my hair. I just do it. All right, here we go. Um. Hell is this? What is this? Oh, I haven't dyed my hair in a long time with this because I don't. I don't usually. I don't dye my hair that often because you can't see it when it's growing back. You can't tell it's growing back for a while, so I get off the hook <laughs> until you look like you're bald, right? Yeah, because it's hard to dye. Die! Come out of the packet! Please! Ah! It's actually die. And I told it to die. Can you mm -hmm. hold this for me? Yes. Thank you! No worries. Okay. Do you want the honours of shaking this after, or me? Me! I should shake it. Why is this so difficult to get it all out? Ah. So while we're doing this, um... Do you have any fun stories you want to tell the world? No. Nothing interesting ever happens to me. That's why oh. I'm shaking a dye bottle. And this is exciting for me. This is exciting. Okay, so you meant to shake it for like two minutes, like really, really intensely. And then you can stop. Like shake it? Yeah, like shake it. Like really crazy. Oh. Like a crazy person. Like you're insane. <laughs> She's insane. <laughs> Oh, it's changing colour? Yeah. We're going to be pink. Thanks. Ah. Not even. Show them how you shake it. No, no. <laughs> Here we go. Why are you shaking our camera? Because <laughs> it looks really Are wrong. you shy? <laughs> it looks so wrong. You stuff on camera? <laughs> <laughs> it just looks really wrong. <laughs> shake your camera. <laughs> Natalie, come back. Just a sec, I need to finish shaking this thing! <laughs> <laughs> shake on camera, like, the audience doesn't know how to shake it! You just shake it up and down, there are, there are lots of ways to... Okay, um, so then you need to open the lid, like... Oh, it's turned into peachy colour. Ah. This is not the colour that it'll turn my hair, by the way. Um, okay. So you take off the lid straight away, because I learnt from experience, if you don't, this can explode. Lots of fun. Don't do it. Okay, um, yeah, it happened. 
I don't want to shake this anymore. Okay, um, yeah, that's what I had. Like, I d wouldn't shake it much because it would explode. So I think I'm doing it, like, from, because we don't have, like, hair ties or anything. Like, from the side. So I'll, like, be like this. And then we just do it in layers. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yes. Check out how my face is glowing. Oh. Where did the petroleum jelly go? Where's the petroleum jelly? Look at it. Ha! Ah, I'll be blathering it on my arms. <laughs> She's my neck. I can't believe it. It makes me look like I'm wearing makeup. Yeah, your face is glowing. It looks beautiful. <laughs> okay. I know like some people use it as their base for the makeup or something. Really? Yeah. I had no freaking like, they idea. They use like shaving cream. Like we like, have shaving cream. No, no, not shaving cream. <laughs> like I think post shaving balm. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's fair enough. Yeah. Not shaving cream. But this is pre dyeing your hair. Wow, mm -hmm. I would go to a party like this. Yeah, it would be built the ball. Glowing, glowing. Oh my ball. goodness! Wow. Okay, let let's do this. So you're supposed to do it down your part line like that, but can we? Just do it like this way, because this way you definitely get the hair. Okay, so ah, what wait, do I... They can't even see, like, how I've got regrowth. You can't even tell, because yeah, you well, can't show, tell. Show the camera, like, go, go... This is why I don't have to re-dye my hair often. It's annoying, but also awesome. Go okay. To, go to the camera and yes. show them. Okay, the top of my head, ah, is growing, unfortunately, coloured. Unfortunately. It's so unfortunate. So, we're dyeing it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you're gonna need to use this like a lot, to just to brush things like in. Oh, and my hair's terrible quality, by the way. No, it's not. It's really thin and sticks to everything and gets knotty. If you don't have thin hair, you just have really fine hair. Like each strand is really fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have that. So like, um. Look at me! My face is glowing. So, like, do you want me to part it? Like, you have to get out of the knot first. Oh, it just needs to get, like, the ends. You see all the, like... Yeah. But I feel like... The knots will never come out. If you brush my hair until there are no knots, it'll just start getting frizzy. Really? Yeah. Alright. And we also don't want to get petroleum jelly in it. So, like, go through, like, each, uh, parting? Yeah. Thank you. I very like I don't think I've I've never. Do even I have to like a uh, pat it in? Yeah, yeah, like, like it's a cream. Yeah. Um. Wait, where did the mug go? We're gonna mix it with the mug. Oh, you didn't mix it with the mug? <laughs> no, we're meant to pour that in the mug. Oh god, what color's my hair gonna be? I don't. Oh my god. This is going great. This is a tutor hair tutor of the century. Oh, yeah, it looks like this. Okay, so I've never washed, I mean, I, I do wash my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, um, can you just like, uh, oh, I shouldn't have used all of it. Why? Why? Okay. Um. Whee. Ah! Um. So I've never watched a YouTube tutorial on how to dye your hair. Yeah. I just always do it like reasonably close to when I see a hairdresser. Because if I saw a hairdresser and they were going to dye my hair, it would cost like over a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if I do it myself, it's going to be heaps cheap. So I just do it close to when I need to see a hairdresser to like cut my hair or whatever. Um, so if I stuff it up, then I'll pay to actually have it done. Okay, this is a very strange colour. <laughs> is it meant to be this colour? I've never seen dye this colour before. Ever. Not in my life. This, this is, is like bright orange. Like, like if you see a juicy, fresh orange. Okay, I've never actually mixed these, like, this and that dye with this coloured dye. Like, actually mixed them. But it's come out a very strange colour. I'm hoping my hair doesn't end up looking like that because I'm only dyeing the roots. And the rest of my hair will be very dark. <gasps> we could dye my roots and then we could dye the very end. Yeah. And then if it does come out a really crazy stupid colour, it would still look really nice. Yeah. Let's do that. This is like a okay. hair sandwich. It's like fruits and and match. And like middle of different colours. I have no idea what's gonna happen to my hair. <laughs> as long as it doesn't fall out, that yeah. it should be fine. Yeah, that's a win. <laughs> I really like that the 
petroleum jelly on my face. <laughs> Wait, it's not petroleum jelly. Wait, is it? Yes, petroleum jelly. Yes, yeah. this is petroleum jelly. Oh, and you can, you don't have to use petroleum jelly. You can use so many other things to put on your face to stop it, like, deciding to stick to your face, the colour. Ah, goodness, this is, this is not a normal consistency. It's like water. Usually hair dye is like a... Eggy consistency? Yeah, but even, even, it's like a soup. But this is just like water. It's like someone diarrhea in a cup and then put it on my face. <laughs> I really hope this is okay. Yeah, me too. Okay. Ah. Ooh, shit. Oh my god. Okay. So we got some in the bed sheet, but that's all right. It's a pink bed sheet. This is orange. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. So I just do it. Oh, it smells lovely. Yeah, it smells nice. What the hell? Sorry. Thank you. No worries. I guess just keep saying thank you. Every time I do one part. How many times have I said thank you so far? Lord, we should have a game where every time you say thank you. Every time you do it. Weird? Just weird? Like not, not bad, just weird? Yes. So like every time I do, we have to run outside and do a push-up and come back in? Yes. We do. We'll be very fit by the end of the summer. I'll be saying sorry a lot. Yeah. <laughs> If we say sorry, then we have to do squat. We're gonna grow a booty by the end of next summer. Hmm. I finish that part. Oh, so when dyeing your hair, you're meant to have it like a little oily, I think. So I just put heaps of conditioner in it to make it yeah. like that. I don't know if you like if you can do that or if you're actually supposed to leave it. I don't know if you're supposed to put your hair dye on a spoon. <laughs> Actually, you're not supposed to use, like, metal. Uh, I think you're supposed to use, like, wooden something. But you're meant to put aluminium foil on your hair when you're waiting for it to, like... So aluminium foil is, like, to, like, um, make it heat up so it preserves the heat in your head. And, I like, the dye works better so it, with the heat, so it preserves the heat. Okay, the only reason I knew you were meant to put aluminium foil on your head is because my friend, I was like, I'm dyeing my hair, and she's like, put aluminium foil on your head, and I was like, okay. So I've been doing it since then, but it's good to know there's a scientific basis behind it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I should change part now? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, do you have the comb? The comb would make it very easy. Okay, cool. Because you can use the back of it to, like, part things. I, I can't see how much I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. My hair's very annoying hair to like dye, because it does get very like sticky, I guess, and clumps together when I put dye in it. It could have something to do with putting dye in my hair that's sold as hair dye, but has a warning that if it gets in 